Hey everyone, um, my name is Jonathan Alcantara. I'm Kevin Nung. I'm Janice Kim. Today, May 5th, 2017. All right, and today we'll be talking to you all about a place that we all want to visit before we die and be listing out the pros and cons of each individual place. And hopefully we'll decide on one place and figure out where we want to go. <laughs> all right, let's go, Kevin. Yosemite. So Dang. I've always wow. been a really big nature person, so I always like you know getting inside my uh, my more primal self and like visiting that primal. kind of thing. Yes, and personally, I've always wanted to go camping, so I definitely would always want to go camping, especially with the company of these two, and it'd be a really good experience. I think you know like I think unplugging ourselves from technology is something that's really really important to do once in a while, and this place offers just that. It's Korea. I want to oh, go Korea. here. <laughs> Korea. Um, I've always wanted to go here. Um, I've only been here when I was a baby, and my parents have always told me about all the nightlife, all the food that, that's there. And I really want to go here because not only my families are there, um, I really connect with the culture. And I think a lot of people in America like really enjoy Korean culture as well. And one of the main reasons I want to go is because I want to enjoy authentic Korean food. Ooh, so, me too. Yeah, I think these people will enjoy that as well. I will. <laughs> cool. Uh, I guess this is my turn. Uh, similar to Janice in the sense that I want to go to the motherland, the Philippines. Uh, I'm full Filipino. I want to know everything about my culture. Um, I feel there's a lot I don't know about my grandparents and how they were raised. I want to know everything from the food to the history to their neighbors, what they did for fun, what toys they played with as kids. Like I want to know everything. And so I feel like... It's a good way to be, get in touch with my culture as well as introduce my culture to other people. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Now we have to decide on one place where we could all go. Where hmm. could that be? I wonder where hmm. we could go. Cambodia! Cambodia! Wow, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, that is. Definitely, like I'm completely Cambodian, so it'd be a really good place for me to explore my heritage. And I mentioned earlier, Yosemite was full of nature, but like so is Cambodia. It's got like full of like nature reserves, and like, there's so much biodiversity in the area around it. It's like right next to the tropics. Yeah, and I think it's perfect too. Like you said, it's a great way to discover new cultures. I know me and Janice really want to be entwined with that. And so a perfect way to understand your culture and how you have you discover yourself, as well as us learn more about the Cambodian culture, especially the heritage, the lifestyle, everything. Yeah, I also want to look more into the food. I think I've just been too accustomed to the food here, and I think learning more about Kevin's culture here, and I just really want to taste more of South Eastern Asian food, and I think it'd be a really great way to like learn more about the culture through it. Definitely we gotta figure out though, how are we gonna get there, right? Hmm. hmm. Idea, Good yeah. way to treat ourselves anytime after grad school. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. yeah Let's do so. it. How are we gonna get there? You know, maybe we could actually buy some like plane tickets ahead of time. Oh definitely. Make sure it's mm. cheap. You know, buy some like Good you know, idea. regular not like exactly first class tickets. Oh yeah, but, definitely not. You Good know, idea. definitely Good gotta idea. make sure you can afford it all. And then we'll like pack the week before maybe. Yeah. And we should like, meet up. Mm -hmm. We can save up. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Give us that time to plan ahead. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Use that residency money. Yeah, dude, exactly. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and then, last but not least, like, what are we going to do when we get there? That's the real question. That's true. Well, I want to try all the foods there, and I've heard there's a lot of delicacies in Cambodia. There's a trail called Route 6, and you can actually eat spiders there. And there's also other dishes like red tree ants, there's red curry, and there's fried crab too. Mmm, that sounds, that sounds yeah, dank. Definitely. And like, I mean, I really, really wanted to see like nature and everything. And I can find that too in Cambodia. Like for instance, there's like Angkor Wat, which is like one of the world's largest, if not the largest, religious monument there. And like, it's all surrounded by nature and everything. And I feel like it's a really like harmonious place to go, you know? Like really definitely. connect myself with nature and my spirit. But if I want to go somewhere like really like bustling with activity, I can go to Phnom Penh which is like a really, really active city within Cambodia and like see all the like peddlers there, all the different like nightlife and things like that. And I'm sure like that would be really, really fun too. Definitely, those are great ideas. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I want to know more of like the history and the heritage. So maybe I looked up uh, Angkor Tom, which is similar to Angkor Pen, but it's a historical temple. And so learn more really about like the heritage mm -hmm. and history behind that. Also, I was checking out the Killing Fields, which is a, 
um, really historical monument in history of Cambodia. So that would be a dope place to learn too. But yeah, great idea, guys. Nice. I can't wait to go. Definitely. I look really, really forward to it. And.